As Nigerians usher in the new year, PLOS TV Africa visited some Christian denomination uh, churches across uh, Nigeria. Faithfuls expressed the aspirations for 2022 in crossover services. Our correspondent Paul George has more. Amidst insecurity, Christian faithfuls troop out to celebrate the traditional crossover service with prayers and thanksgivings to God, if not for anything else, but seeing the new year. And prayers are offered. The senior pastor of Hill City Gospel Center, Barnawa, Pastor Ishaya Samson, is optimistic the new year marks a new beginning of hope for Nigeria. I've never seen strength displayed in Nigeria like the way it was displayed in 2021. And whatever has been lost, I see a replenishment. So the fruit is beyond individual. See, no tree bears fruit for itself. Every tree bears fruit for others. So when you're talking about Nigeria, if you are here, you will enjoy the fruit of people's labor. So we're praying that if everybody is fruitful, other people will enjoy the fruit. So you enjoy my fruit, I enjoy your fruit, and then uh, we'll become a better people and a better nation. Some worshippers also hope for better things to come. A year that, you know, God will show himself strong because as a people, as a country, um, the truth is that our help can only come from God. That's the truth. A lot of things have failed. Security has failed. People have failed. Government has even failed. So um, if we will be able to resort back to God, God will only be our stability in this year. Our ear, that my life is counted. Our ear, that God is changing my status. He's changing the status of Nigeria. He's changing the status of Nigerian. He's making Nigeria to count in the kingdom of God and in the society. Crossover to 2022, to the glory of God. God has been awesome to us. He has been merciful. I am part of, uh, I have enjoyed his mercy. He has shown me mercy, I and my family. 2021 such a wonderful year but we thank God for everything that happened you know God will always give reasons for us to still say thank you Jesus God will always give us reasons to thank him not minding the situation of the economy not minding the security situation not minding how hunger hungry people were in 2021 God still gave us reasons to celebrate to sing and to dance and to praise his holy name few churches in Cardinal State celebrated the crossover service despite the insecurity <laughs> In Ogun State, Christian faithfuls troop out en masse to attend the crossover service. The mood is joyous with singing and dancing. By February or March, the electioneering campaign will commence. They should increase our security, they should boost our security. And the only way they can do that is by employing more people and giving them sophisticated equipment to combat crime. I just, like, I just want stability. Based on education, I like, like myself, I'm, a, I'm an artist, more or less like a fashionista. So when there is balancing in electricity, the, the problem, the number of problem is solved. I feel excited, you know, it's another year and you know, we are with new achievements, you know, brand new greatness in different you know, dimensions, you know, so I feel great. Gentlemen, I expect more. And last year, <laughs> and more good things, and more money, and, and you know, and more, and more achievements, yeah. Christian leaders charged the federal government to brace up in securing the lives and property of citizens in the new year. I just want to advise them to take care of the less privileged. Many people are suffering, and um, they are the ones that voted them. They should look for any system that will relieve them at least a little bit. It's too hard, but we want to encourage them that they should at least look at the less privileged. Bring out some innovations or programs that is going to reduce the hardship in the nation. Like in Ogun State, Benue Christian faithfuls marked the beginning of 2022 with joy. Many express optimism that the country will be free from challenges while praying for a better nation. For the year 2022, I believe so much that God is going to bring a turnaround in the federation. God is going to change the situation of Nigeria. 
whatsoever has been the bad record and whatsoever that has been going wrong in the country. Bet that first of all, God will take away those grievances away from us, and then God will restore, restore the thinking of every bad leader so that they can walk this country into a better place and a better environment for us and for the kids yet unborn. This is the outlook on the streets of Port Harcourt as the new year is welcomed. Some gather to play games and dance. At the Corpus Christi Cathedral Church, prayers are made to usher in 2022. Genesis chapter 22 says, Be fruitful, multiply. Let the birds on the land multiply. If we can have the mindset to be fruitful in Nigeria, then depending on the government that doesn't work, will be a thing of the past. If we can be fruitful in Nigeria, then we can desire and despair to a political stability, social stability, economic stability, and religious stability that we desire and need and deserve in Nigeria. And finally in Lagos, It is a big celebration at the Trinity House on Victoria Island as they usher in the new year. For me, I would describe crossover as Thanksgiving. Thanking God for keeping us through the year 2021, making it possible for us to be alive, giving us the grace to see this day. There are some people who can't even complain because they are six feet below. So the fact that we are alive is more than enough to give God thanks and to be grateful to Him. The founder of Trinity House, Pastor Itwa Igodalu, encourages Nigerians to serve God. He also advises them to get their permanent voters card for the coming elections in 2023. A new year is a new beginning, and a lot of us want to spend the beginning of the year in the presence of God. So everybody needs to really keep themselves very well in this 2022. My advice also, get your PVC so that you can vote and you can vote right in 2023 and also be extremely prayerful so that the things we cannot do, God will do for us. At the RCCG Temple of God Parish, Lekki Phase 1, the celebration is no different. You are glorified in the heavens. is in time and seasons and uh, there are days there are weeks there are months and there are years so the most significant part of a year is the beginning the transition from the preceding year to the new year which is what we just celebrated so no matter how optimistic we are we must brace up to know that challenges are ahead and it is only those who know God, only those who have understanding that will be able to overcome the storms and the trials. So we pray that uh, government will follow godliness and righteousness. That's the only way for people to rejoice. As long as they are pursuing personal goals, selfish goals, political or tribal goals, people will always mourn. There seems to be a greater hope for a better year ahead. Paul George for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.